the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Destroyer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Here we go, first round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Slips the shot. Left hand punches the clinch. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, a little single collar tie there. 
you don't know when that leg kick's coming. She caught that kick there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body. Again, making great use of his length in this matchup. He is all about that left kick to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Well placed kick there by Lee. Another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times the slow block the shot. That's his coming. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lee gets caught with that punch. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Real nice body kick lands. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Great diversity in this attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. Great punch landing with so much power. And both guys really throwing with authority. Checks that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he comes through with a big knee. Mixing up his target, he's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Oh! It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. It's the elbow there. Just out of range with that right hook. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice, sneaky head kick. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Big kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Five minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round, and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Right hand upstairs. Let's go. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo reel, right? No three piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. 
given more than one strike, you have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Back to the jab now, no good. Just a slip there. Got the single collar tie. Dealing with a cut now over that right eye. Straight punch land. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, single collar tie now. Some nice back and forth action here. Yet again, they will clinch here. Nice one, two there. And he continues to work the body here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Good punch land. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Big hit kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Switching stances here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Effective strike there by Lee. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, nice. 20 seconds left. He landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely going to need to get stitched up after the fact. And blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect.
punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Real quick leg kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. And they separate. What a punch. Right hand on point. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big body kick land. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Nice punch land over the top. Missed with that attempt. Huge block there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully. Really starting to get his range and get into a good flow on the feet as the longer fight. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautiful leg kick throw. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. Tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands it so effectively. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Great punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, single collar tie here. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right, goes back to that left kick once again. Visibly limping here. Takedown defense holds up. And now he's got that tight punch. Boy, Ty Flop. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he landed the right hand there. Liver kick. Lee's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area? Whoa! Oh, he might be yeah, out. Like that oh. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving. What a fight so far.
All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, man, head kick lands. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big kick land. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. How good is that right hand? Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you're gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Can't take any of those, you better check. He engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Cut them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Got the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Nice strike. Wide single collar tie now. He's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Under two minutes to go. Back to the feet now. Ooh, big shot lands. Big kick lands. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice. Nice. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Clipped him with the right hand there. And he lands a kick to the leg. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom 
work here, staying busy. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Just missing on the counter there. Single collar tie now. Final seconds of round four. Nice. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Beautiful kick. but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up with the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lips. Effective punch there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Punch coming, it's blocked. Slips to avoid the right. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice straight punch. Big leg kick land. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He has landed that strike very effectively. Big head kick lands. Lee's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Steady. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Whoa! from the top here by Lee. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. 90 seconds to go in the fight. 
All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during the fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.